Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial, I really want to go over a really quick new addition to the descriptives module, which I think might help people in teaching of stats and as well as just exploring their own data. So what is that new thing? Well, let's first open up some data and we'll go into it. It's how to deal with outliers. And they added this in 2.3.17. And as you can see, I'm using uh, 0.18 and just some more bug fixes that they did, although they did say that this is likely the last release in the uh, 2.3 realm. So um, next version we'll see maybe 2.4. So all right, let's open up some quick data. Um, I am just going to grab some uh, uh, the, the big five Dolan et al. from 2009 correlation data set on the big five. So ocean, canoe, whatever you want to call it. So here we go. We have our neuroticism, extroversion, openism, openness, and agreeable and conscientiousness uh, values here. And there are, I believe, 500 of them. Yeah, here we go. All right, so outliers. They're a pain in the butt, aren't they? Sometimes, at least. They can really mess with your skew with using means and standard deviations, right? So what's a quick way to do this? Well, as I said in the release just prior to this, a couple of weeks ago, just a couple of weeks ago, um, maybe not even that, I don't remember what the release notes say about that. But if we go in, up into exploration and we click on descriptives here, I have not updated all of my other modules on this particular uh, app. I just have a few of them up here. So if we go in here and we get our neuroticism, okay, and you go into statistics, this is the new, this is the new outliers feature, statistic. I mean, it's statistic. So it's the new outliers so what it will tell you is the most extreme and you can tell it how many values you want to know so if you just want the highest and the lowest values okay uh row number 483 it tells you this is so great it gives you the row number of the actual value for both the highest and the lowest and you can like by default it's five so if we do five it will tell you which row this is in and what the values are and so for the highest it will be in a descending order and for the lowest it will be in, all in an ascending order so the lowest is obviously going to be the smallest number so descending for highest uh, ascending for lowest and it'll just give you all of that information now the one thing that it doesn't do which would be so cool as if built into this particular uh, uh little statistic here is doing the you know the 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 three and a half standard deviations or two and a half standard deviations or ever or, or whatever um little conventional thing that you have done in the past to calculate which ones are outliers and um, which ones should be potentially excluded from your data set, although that requires good logical reasoning as to why you're getting rid of it. But at least this will tell you, this module will tell you what those values are and where to find them in your data set. Cons I mean, consider having mass, I mean, this is a 500 row data set this is a 500 cases in this data set which is why i wanted to 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 use this one to sh to show you all this new extreme values outliers uh, statistic that they added to the descriptive module is this row number so you could go and find it on this variable of neuroticism for example you're like okay row number 483 is an extreme value now Another way that you can use this is if you put all of them, let me grab all of them and put them over into the variables, okay? And so then you can see if there's anyone who might be just an outlier all by themselves. And it doesn't look like that any of them are an outlier all by themselves, but maybe if I did, you know, all the, the five values by default, um, I just put five in there and I hit enter. And it, it it will update it for you. And you can go through to see whether or not there are issues with any of these extreme values. And if there's any overlap, if there's any overlap. I mean, 
it was 500 cases in this particular example. It's probably going to be very hard to find an overlap. I mean, this is uh, Likert scale data, so also very hard to find because we're talking about you know decimal points worth uh, of information. These aren't whole numbers, so it's a little bit harder to find um, over uh, overlap doing it this way. Um, to see whether or not there are whole cases that you can exclude from your analyses, that kind of thing. Anyways, that is a quick video for showing you this new most extreme outliers statistic in the descriptives module. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave that down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.